course, I am Lemon76 of Wonder Night Gaming. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, of course, today we have a new review out for you. Um, review more comparison, to be honest. Um, the other day, Glorious released their new Model I mouse. Pretty nice little mouse. Which, if you look at it uh, straight on, you can see the inspiration for this mouse is the G502. Which actually I don't have, right there, here it is. The G502, and of course Razer released this one not that long ago, which is the Basilisk V3. So, in today's video, we're going to be going over all three of the mice, compare them, um, switches, uh, we're going to compare uh, weight, feel, um, what each one of these offers, and, what, and also what they look like when they're all lit up with RGB. So... That's going to be on today's docket, so let's go ahead and get to it. Of course, um, if you are new to the channel and you do like budget review videos and comparison to gameplay, and also we do do live streams, uh, consider subscribing. Also, leave a like on the video; it always helps out a lot. Of course, we are here getting closer to reaching a thousand subscribers. We're going to do a big headset giveaway um, when that rolls around. Also, our Patreon page is almost finished, finally. Um, and we'll have that up and running soon, which we're going to be doing a bunch of giveaways and stuff. Like a lot of the products that I've been building up over the years, um, I'm going to be doing giveaways for those products on that on that uh, our Patreon page when that goes live. So, let's go ahead and start with the brand new mouse that's out of the market. Of course, is the Model I. Um, again, this is an Ergo mouse, uh, very similar to the G502. It has the thumb rest here has three buttons here and a fourth button here so this one's got four buttons on the side where a lot of these ones have three but i kind of like all these mice do have a bunch of buttons on them very nice long uh ascended cord um i did do a review video on adding an ascended cord to a budget mouse and made it a lot better of a mouse um it's the same cord that they've used for well years now um great cord ptf feet on the bottom Full honeycomb shell, very, very light, uh, weighs in at 69 grams, nice. Uh, <laughs> so out of all three of these, this is the absolute lightest. So that's this one, and of course, like I said, very decent long cord. I do have my hub up here, so when we do get a cover here the close up, you guys will get to see all these lit up. And we will go over all their softwares too, just to kind of let you guys see what those are like and things like that. So next up, is the Razer Basilisk V3. As you can see, there's a very there's a trend with all these mice, is that thumb groove right here on the side. Um, it's a heavier boy than, I, I will have the weight for this one right here, because I cannot think of it off the top of my head right now, and I just had my notes. Anyways, um, so on the side, you only got two buttons, and a two, your forward and your normal back button, but there is a third button that's programmable. Of course, does have the thumb rest, has the PTF feet on the bottom, wired, um, about the same length as the Glorious cable, but it is and it has green or the other one had orange. But I would say, comparative to the, these two cables, this one is light. The Glorious has a lighter feel to it. This is a little stiffer, but it's still pretty nice. And of course, your scroll wheel, and then of course your DPI buttons here on the top. But actually, one is a DPI button. The other one is actually for the Infinity Scroll. Um, now that's two things that these two mice have, the G502 and the Razer have, where this one does not. This one has the standard scroll wheel that they've been using on the Model D, the Model O, minus, D minus, all those right now. So it's that scroll wheel. It's not an Infinity Scroll wheel like all the rest, like these two right here. Um, other than that, and of course these do have um, both this mouse and the G502 both have the additional left and right clicks on the scroll wheel where the Model I does not. So that's it for that mouse. And last on the button on this is the little one here on the bottom. This is your profile switch. So you have multiple profiles saved to the mouse. And of course, last but not least, the OG ergonomic gaming mouse is the G502. This one is loved by many. Um, definitely one of my favorite go-to mice. I've used this thing for quite a while. Um, Cable-wise, it's probably the stiffest out of the three. 
but it's definitely no like if you've seen it in my other review videos like the Pictech mouse and the Walmart on uh, gaming mouse the wired one definitely not bad like those those guys are like super stiff this one is still pretty flexible this one does have the infinity wheel which is mechanical where this one's computer click down on that button and then bam you got the beautiful scroll then you can click it standard scroll wheel so now we'll talk about buttons this one's definitely got quite a few you got your forward and your back just like this guy and of course you have the third button that's programmable some people use the sniper switch or i use this as a reload button up here is your dpi selector and back here is your profile switch and of course uh standard switches and left and right on the scroll wheel on the bottom there's no switches but this one out of all three that the other ones don't have is this one uses weights that you can add or take away i run i don't like all the weights on this one so i actually run it without the weights the uh, weight the weight of this mouse without any of the weights in it is around 129 grams so if you actually think about it this one weighs double almost double the weight of this guy and trust me when you put both these in your hand you can tell so what i'm going to do now guys is i'm going to go ahead and bring you guys in closer and what we're going to do is we're just gonna, if i'm sniffling i'm sorry it is springtime where i'm at right now and I'm normally not really affected by allergies, but where we've moved to is there's a lot more trees, a lot more foliage. So allergies have kind of got me on the run right now. Don't worry, it's not COVID. I've already been tested, it's not COVID. But it is, uh, it's definitely allergy season. Hopefully it'll go away soon. So um, I'll go ahead and bring you guys in close. I will show you guys um, all three up close, compare them head to head with each other and then we'll do a quick peek at their software won't go too much into it and then i'll wrap it up with my final conclusions does this is this mouse a great contender to the basilisk or the og g502 so, okay now we are back we're going to do the close-ups now i did get them all plugged in so you guys can see the rgb and all that good stuff so putting them all up next to each other from, we'll start with from the backs. There we go, now they're all lined up. So you can see the G502, actually a hair longer, actually, here, let's set it up like this. Probably be easier to see this way. So from the back, there. Okay, so you can see here, I mean, unfortunately my angle's still not the greatest here. Try to get this angle just right. There we go. Okay. So you can see here the G502 is definitely the longest of, th of the three. <laughs> and then Razor right in the middle. And of course the Model I is definitely the shortest of the three. Um, so for somebody with very large hands, I mean, I would, I definitely would say I have large hands, but I wouldn't say I have like super large hands. Um, definitely the, these two would probably fit a little bit better in your hand than the eye. Um, but even with my hands the way they are, I feel that the eye is definitely a, still a very comfortable fit. So let's go ahead and go over each one of these individually. Kind of a nice close up here. There's the bottom, there's the sensor, the 502 sensor. And then of course, opening up does show you the spot if you wanted to put the weights in. Right there, very large feet right here. Um, there are aftermarket feet that you can get for these that um, speed skates and those make for them. Now for RGB, this is the least, of course, at least one of the RGB. Um, just has the G and of course this little spot right here. Um, rubber texturing here on this side and of course on this side so lifting off and stuff like that is really easy if, like with your ring finger to lift off very very easy um, standard scroll wheel of the G502 so that's that guy I will move on to the razor and here's the razor as you can see it's very similar to the G502 even in the line design um, takes uh, cues from the razor or from the G502 using rubber texture on this side and on this side. So again, when it's in hand, 
very easy to lift off of course here's the customizable keys on each side forward and back and then there of course your trigger button and nice matte finish with that now the rgb on this one is definitely probably the i would say it's actually more than the uh the uh, Model I, because you got that logo, the scroll wheel, and of course you have this whole light ring that goes all the way around the mouse, which gives it a really nice glow. Um, I find if you use like a really light color, now this is black, but if you were using like something like a white uh, mouse mat, this thing would really, really shine on your mat. So of course here's your PTF Fifi, you know. Very standard, we run the sensor. Um, they're super fast sensor, 26,000 DPI sensor. And this is your profile switch. You can switch between your profiles. I believe you can have the five saved to the mouse. And that's pretty much it for the uh, Basilisk. Of course, let's look at the last guy. Of course, the new Model I. And of course, the the Standard Odin on the Glorious Mice. The RGB strips here on this side. On this side here. And of course the scroll wheel itself. And of course you do get, I mean with the lights on, the studio lights on and stuff, you can't really see um, the lighting that well inside the shell. But when you're gaming and stuff like that, you're not with studio lights. Um, it does actually shine down through the shell. So we have, of course, honeycomb, unlike the rest of the guys who are all solid. This, of course, has honeycomb on the back and honeycomb here on the bottom to bring that weight down. That's how this is weighs half of the weight, more than half of the weight of this G502. They had to make some sacrifices. Now, where they didn't make sacrifices is definitely the feet. There is plenty of feet on here. Um, again... Uh, PTFE, you know, very standard in the industry. Um, of course, these are on it. Um, for, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I had to sneeze really quick. Um, so, of course, going over the buttons, um, you do have the three here on, the, on top, and then you have the one here on for the trigger. Now, this one here and this one here, these are actually removable. There is two other... Uh, switch it or basically covers that come with the mouse for each one of these switches uh one is a lower profile switch for both of them and then there's a cut of, a cover over one now i'm not going to go over that because there are plenty of unboxing videos that are out there right now that go over what comes in the box so i'm more or less just going over comparison features of these three mice so i'm not really going to cover that if you're interested there's plenty of videos out there um that show these uh a little bit more in depth so now, of course, here on the bottom two, you do have the DPI light. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. Yep, see that little blue light? That's your. That tells you what profile you're in, what light profile you're using. Um, which is, of course, all adjustable in software. So you would click up here. Actually, here I can show you. Here, click, 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 and then of course you can go back down. You can set up to, I believe it's five DPI settings to the mouse. Um, so that's how you set that up. And of course how you can customize the software. You go into the software to customize what each one of these buttons to do. And up here too. Standard scroll wheel. Um, nothing super special. It's very similar to the other scroll wheels that they're using on the Model D and the Model O. So um, pretty standard. Pretty standard affair at this point in time. So that's going to be pretty much it for the nice close-ups. So what I'm going to do real quick and... Uh, before we uh, move on to conclusion, I'm going to do a quick sound test where I'll put these up by the microphone, give them a few clicks so you guys can hear what they sound like. So here we go, we'll start with this guy. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't cover earlier, um, how the other two had texture on both sides. This one doesn't, but um, this matte material really fits good in my fingers, and I don't actually have a problem with picking this guy up. Probably also because it's super light. So, let's move on to the next one.
Okay, final one. G502. Okay, so that is all three sound tests. Um, so you guys hear what they sound like. Um, definitely messed up my profile, so it's messing around with that button. So I'll definitely have to fix that in software. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and back out and go to conclusion, and then we'll wrap this video up and okay. call it a night. Now that we're back um, from showing you the quick software stuff real quick, we're gonna go ahead and go over final conclusions. So I would I'd probably say the first thing we need to start with is pricing. So as of making of this video, um, on Amazon, that's where I check my prices for this. For the G502, you can get these brand new for 40 bucks, And I know you can buy them at your local Walmart too. Um, so this guy is $40, brand new. Um, pretty solid price. I mean, honestly, I've seen some budget gaming mice that aren't even that, you know, this good at that price. So um, this is, that's the price of this one. The Razer Basilisk, when it first came out, was $70. Now it has dropped down to $60. So they definitely have dropped the price down. Um, they dropped the price down around the same time this guy was coming out. So, conclusion? Uh, I don't think so. Or coincidence. Yes, I believe that I believe that they might have dropped it to compete with to go ahead with the uh, Model I. And this guy, brand new right now from their uh, Glorious's website, is $60. So, pricing wise, uh, budget wise, the G502 is, is definitely the winner there uh, for pricing, where these two are the same price all around. So, depending on your budget, um, I would definitely say the G502 is a good buy. Now, I love Glorious. I've actually used their Model D before, their Model O. Um, I've used their products before. I really do enjoy. And actually... This keyboard right here, the Royal Clutch keyboard that I'm using right here, I actually have um, upgraded my switches in it um, to the Bronze Speed switches, which I actually bought from Glorious. So, now of course, I did buy all of these with my own money. No money was exchanged hands, I'm not getting, you know, paid to say anything. This is all out of my own pocket, so I paid for these straight up. Um, so, basically for the price I'm saying here, the, the Model I is a great mouse to use. Um, with the lightweightness of like a competitive mouse, like a lot of the competitive mice that are out there, like the Model O, and there's a couple other ones, really good ones out there. This has an advantage for the fact that it is so light, it is quick to do snapshots and things like that. Um, these two guys here, of course, are heavier. Now, for stability-wise, these are actually a little bit better because they're easier to hold on target because of how much they weigh. Where the Model I is a little bit more snap-happy. So I still find, and I have found that using the Model I, there's a bit of a learning curve because the feel of the mouse is similar to these two. And being used to running much heavier mice for as long as I have, um, to go to basically the same style of mouse but lighter um, is a little bit it takes a bit to use to now I'd say if you came from say a Model D or a Model uh, um, O it would probably feel better to you because of how light it is or well yeah because of how light it is it's gonna feel right but going from something like my daily runner of the G502 or actually a big daily runner I like to use too right now is actually this PicTech mouse that I use, uh, wireless PicTech mouse. So you see, I really am a fan <laughs> of this design. Um, and this one has the three buttons. I do have a review coming out for this one, so do stay tuned for the channel for that one. But I do have a review coming out, so stay tuned for that one. I like to keep the RGB off when I can, because if not, it really it really drains the battery. I'll just keep it on blue. That's fine. Anyways, back to I digress. So, basically, after seeing a comparison of these, of course, the final choice is always going to be yours. Um, I'm just giving you my personal pros and cons of the situation. So, I would say, 
for pros and cons of each mouse. So pro of the Model I, lightweight, very, very lightweight, good feel in the hands. Um, definitely, uh, I like the design of it. I like how it feels, how it easily is to grip. And I love the RGB implementation that Glorious does with their mice. I'm a big fan of that. Um, now, the pro of the Razer. Pros, feels really awesome in the hand, has a very nice well on it, using rubber texturing on both sides, makes picking up the mouse and sliding it over and all that stuff extremely easy to do. Uh, the Infinity Scroll Wheel is nice, it's, it's responsive, I like how easy it is to use, all the buttons that are on it are really nice clicky, um, really fast sensor on it, it's got a 26,000 um, DPI sensor on it, so very fast sensor, very, very nice. And um, all around, pretty solid, and the cord is definitely still nice, it's an upgrade over this guy, but it's still not as nice as this one. And of course, last but not least, is the G502 the granddaddy of them all. Um, comfort wise, it's hard to beat this mouse, it's, especially if you got large hands. Now, this is all based on a person that's using larger hands. If you have smaller hands, probably a lot of these mice aren't going to feel great. If you have smaller hands, I would say the eye is going to be the best one. If you're looking to get one of these mice, this is probably the best one. It's, cause it's a little smaller than the other two. So I would say that's the better mouse for if you have smaller hands. Now I still have big hands. My hand still fits very nicely on this mouse. Uh, of course, the mechanical infinity wheel on here, always nice, you don't have to worry about it ever breaking, because this one being electrical, um, eventually something could happen and this could break. Uh, where this one's mechanical, it doesn't have less chance. Um, customizations on these mice are a lot higher than the other two, because of, of course, the all the buttons that are on it, you know, they got the two sides, the third button here. The DPI buttons that can all be soon be reprogrammed to a different one, profile button, the, all the buttons with the mice or the scroll wheel. Um, of course, with the weights that you can put into it, makes this mouse extremely customizable, but it's also the heavyweight. So now we're gonna go over cons. So cons of the G5 or the, the G502, really. That's why I said, anyways. Of the uh, Model I cons would definitely be um is how crowded this side is with all these buttons um i get you know that they're trying to add more functionality to the mouse but i think what they should have done is maybe raise this just a hair more i know it would have added more weight but raise it just a hair more so when you're sitting here holding it when i just sit here and hold it like this it's fine but when i go to reach up for that reload button very close to hitting these other two buttons here and maybe it's just muscle memory and I'm so used to just two buttons on the side but truth be told the third button I don't use which I do like the fact that Glorious does include the replaceable buttons for these back this back one here that actually blocks it off completely I do appreciate it. thank you Glorious um, so that would be my big con of this one um, other than that I mean I absolutely love this mouse it's just this selection here little off for me if i would have had a little smaller thumb it probably would have been better but it still does not stop me from using this mouse i really do love it um trying to put more time into it get better with it um because the more i play with it the better i'm, I'm doing with it i'm um, getting up to, to where i was with the model d really enjoying it um like i said all around definitely a solid mouse cons of the razor honestly there's not too many <laughs> Uh, to be honest, um, I wish the, I mean, the cord is really nice. It's not as nice as, of course, the Ascended cord, but it's still very, very solid cord. Um, the weight is really nice on these. Um, the paddle button's really easy to use, really easy to actuate. I would say the only con I really have for this mouse here, um, and I don't know if it's really because they're in a con, but I'm just more of a foresight that there's a good chance, you know, this scroll wheel could break. Um, just because of being an electronic scroll wheel, um, it could break. So other than that, um, all around, I still really enjoy using this mouse. It's, it's really nice to use. It's, um, very fast. Um, like I said, it's a good in between. I, I like how I kind of have these laid out because I really feel that this mouse right here is definitely a good in between the two of these where, and then of course we got the G502. Uh, cons with the G502 is 
it does have a when it's in clicking mode it has a very heavy scroll wheel compared to the other two um, the cable is quite thick um, it's not as light as the other two and of course the weight of the mouse this thing is a heavy boy um, very very heavy I think this one weighs in at 129 grams again that's over double the weight of this guy and trust me when you put these in your hands you will feel it um, but all in all still a very very solid mouse um, like I said weight is a is definitely gonna be a factor if you're looking for a lightweight mouse this is not gonna be it um, you're gonna want to look at these two probably this one um, because who knows when this price might go up and they might drop that price but like I said, if you're looking for a heavier mouse, you know, you don't mind about the weight and you want comfort. And at the, honestly, at the price of 40 bucks, you cannot go wrong with this mouse. It's a good mouse. Actually, truth be told, all three of these are great mice. They're just a little bit, they, they excel in their own areas. And they fall in some other areas. But all in all, they're all very good mice. Definitely worth your money. Um, Glorious has come a long way when their first series ran, launched. They had issues with quality control. I had zero issues with this mouse. It works flawlessly. I've been loving it. Razer, we all know where Razer came from and how they've been. I feel that they're in a good direction where they continue to keep going. Um, I would love to see a wireless version of this mouse. It would be amazing. Now, of course, they do make a wireless version of this one. Um, it's a great mouse. Actually, I am going to probably end up doing a review video of... Now, I know there is a wireless version of the Bassless, so stop typing in the comments. I know there's a wireless version of this. I get it. But of the V3, there is not. It's just it's the ultimate, but it's not the same as this one. So stop the typing. I know there's a wireless version. Of course, there is a wireless version of this one. I am thinking about getting the wireless versions of a couple of the mice that are built like this and the PicTech mouse over here that I've got um, and doing a compilation review video of those. Kind of like what we're doing with this one. So. Well, I've given you all the information that I can give you, a good straight like straight up comparison of all three of these mice, and you know, I'm not gonna tell you which one you gotta go out and buy. That's gonna be your choice. I'm just here to help you give you the information to help you make that choice. So well, um, if you guys did like the video, please leave a like, it helps out the channel. Uh, if you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. It does always um, like I said, we're gonna hit that thousand subscriber mark and we're gonna do a big old giveaway. So do stay tuned for all that stuff, it's gonna be great. Um, that's all I really much got for today. Um, so hope to catch you on the next live stream, review video, or gameplay video. As always, I am Lemon76 and Wonder Guy Gaming. Thank you for joining me today. And as always, 